Our next story is about a plane. It flies faster than sound and it doesn't make the explosive noise that we've heard before. It claims to break the sound barrier quietly. It's something that scientists have tried to achieve for decades. The concept, of course, is called supersonic flight. In other words, traveling faster than sound. That is supersonic. And what's the speed of sound? More than 1,200 kilometers per hour, or Mach 1, as they call it. When an aircraft hits that speed, 1,200 kilometers per hour, it creates a massive shock wave. This is known as a sonic boom. In the past, that boom was so loud that countries banned supersonic flights over land. But now NASA is trying to change that. Yesterday it flew an experimental jet, a jet that is designed to turn that deafening boom into a soft thump. And if it works, it could change how the world flies. Here's a report. For more than a century, a flight has been a race against time. From the first propeller planes to the jet age, humanity's goal was simple, to go faster. And in the 1970s, we reached that dream. It was called the supersonic flight. Supersonic means flying faster than sound. That means more than 1,200 kilometers per hour, or Mach 1. At that speed, a plane outruns its own sound waves. Those waves collide behind it and hit the ground as a thunderous shock, the sonic boom. Two planes defined that era. In the West, it was the Concorde, British and French engineering at its peak. In the East, the Soviet Tupolev Tu-144, the first jet in the world to fly supersonic. Both were technological marvels. Both promised to change how humans traveled. But there was one problem, the noise. That sonic boom was deafening. People on the ground complained of windows shaking and buildings rattling. The backlash grew quickly. In 1973, the United States banned overland supersonic flight. Some other countries soon followed. Supersonic travel was confined to routes over water. For a while, the dream survived, but only just. By the turn of the 21st century, the era eventually ended. For years since then, research has been underway to solve the problem of noise in supersonic flight. And this week, that question was finally tested. NASA's experimental jet, the X-59, took to the skies over California. The jet is built by Lockheed Martin, a company known for designing stealth aircraft. It's a narrow, needle-shaped jet, which is nearly 30 meters long. Every curve is designed to reshape sound. Instead of a boom, it's built to make a soft thump, no louder than a car door closing. That's the breakthrough NASA is chasing. Over the coming months, the X-59 will fly over selected American communities. Microphones on the ground will record its sound. Residents will report what they hear. That data will help regulators decide if quiet supersonic travel can finally return over land. In June this year, the U.S. government took the first step. An executive order directed the Federal Aviation Administration to rewrite the old rules that have banned supersonic flight for years. And aviation companies are already preparing. Boom Supersonic, based in Colorado, has tested its prototype, the XB-1 which broke the sound barrier earlier this year. Its future aircraft, the Overture, aims to fly passengers at nearly twice the speed of today's planes. But the next generation of supersonic jets will only succeed if they can fly fast, 
without disturbing those below. That's the challenge the X-59 is built to solve. Its mission is not commercial, but scientific, to collect the data that could shape the rules of tomorrow. Still, big questions remain. But for now, the X-59 marks a beginning, a quiet step towards a faster future. Because the next stage of flight may not start with a boom, but with a soft thump. Want the facts? The latest developments. New start gets straight to the point. Well, we've got all three just for you. This is First Post Live, a brand new show. Your window into what really matters. Don't miss it.